Hey guys, I'm Caitlin Metcalf on the North Shore of Oahu. I have Surf and Sea right behind me. We're on our way in to get some surf wax. Also, we're going to see if Joey Green is there to help us today. Come on in, let's take a look. I'm here with Joey Green. He works here at Surf and Sea. Can you tell me a little bit about surf, er, Sex Wax, what the different brands of wax are and what the significance is? Oh, you got sex wax. Like, some of these are pretty popular. Uh, some wax is a lot more stickier than others. Why do surfers use wax? Well, basically, it's just to add more friction to the board, so it's a lot harder to slip off your board. Okay, and what are your most popular brands here, and why? Well, usually we, we like sticky bombs, because that's like a well standard like surfboard wax that a lot of people usually use. Hey guys, we're on our way to Velzy Land. Follow me, and we'll see what the waves have to offer today. Hey guys, we made it to Velzy Land. We're waiting for three of my personal favorite surfers, TJ, Timmy, and Craig Metcalf. Hopefully they'll be able to share a little bit more about surfboards and about the waves out here today. Can you guys start off by just telling me your names and where you're from? Okay, I'm Leonardo Fioravanti, I'm from Italy. Matteo Fioravanti from Rome, Italy. Great, nice to meet you guys. So. I noticed that you guys seem to have some shorter boards. Can you tell me the significance between the difference between long and short board? That uh, with short board, you can uh, do bigger maneuver, you can be more uh, radical in your surfing, and you can do something that with long board, it's, uh, it's impossible to do. And long board is more uh, uh, stylish surfing, it's more uh, relaxed, and uh, you feel uh, the power of the wave, but you cannot do anything to to have, uh, I cannot say more fun, but to kind of, uh, kind of uh, reaping on the wave, it's, it's harder. Okay, so tell me a little bit about wax and what your favorite kind of wax is. Uh, my favorite kind of wax is sex wax, because it's a pretty good wax, and, but there's a lot of kind of wax to put on your board. Uh, uh, sticky bombs and all, uh, all other kind, but when you put the wax on your board, it's better if you use every time the, the same wax. Great, we'll have fun out there today. Thank you Thanks. for your time. We met some future pro surfers on the beach who were kind enough to explain a little bit about their surfboards. We started off by learning that the shorter boards are much easier to maneuver in the water and they're also faster. Next we learned about skegs which are located at the tail of the surfboard. A skeg provides the board's directional stability and enables directional control by banking, also known as foot steering. Now conventionally there are three fins or skegs at the tail of the board, but that can vary depending on the surfer's preference. Finally, we learned a little bit about Velzy Land and the break that they were at. Unfortunately, we weren't be able to get the audio because our microphone went out during the interview. Next, I met up with Makai, Timmy, and TJ, who told me a little bit more about their surfboards and the break out at Velzy Land. Makai told me a little bit about the rocker on his board. Now, a rocker refers to how much curve the bottom of the board has from nose to tail. Increasing the rocker helps improve a board's performance when it is used in and around tighter curves, while flattening the curve of the board helps to handle better on flatter sections of the water. I also learned that longer boards are thicker and wider with more of a rounded nose than a short board, which makes it easier to ride. Short boards are shorter, thinner, and have more of a pointed nose. This typically makes it easier to maneuver. Next I chatted with Timmy Metcalf about the different surf contests here on the island and which ones he'd competed in. He actually won the Shore Break Classic and won a brand new custom surfboard as a result. I'm here with TJ Metcalf, who's going to tell us a little bit about the beach. Can you tell me what beach we're at, what the break's called? We're at Velzy Land. And why is it called Velzy Land? 
It's named after the surfboard shaper Del Velzi, who shaped surfboards in like the 50s and the 60s. Can you tell me a little bit about the shape of your surfboard? Um, it's just a basic uh, shortboard uh, thruster with future fins in it. Um, it's a 17 and a quarter wide and about two inches thick. Just a basic shortboard. Um, it's 5'5". Five five. And it's just an all-around good board. I pretty much ride it anywhere I go. And how many surfboards do you usually bring with you when you come to the beach, just in case one breaks? I usually bring one, but if it's like bigger, I might bring two, but usually just about one. And how does it look out there today? Is it pretty big or? Um, it's all right. It's probably about, I don't know, five to six feet, maybe bigger on the outside, but it looks fun and clean. And Is that your average that you usually surf, five to six feet, or what? what's the biggest wave you've ever surfed? I probably surfed about... I don't know, eight to nine foot Hawaiian. And uh, it looks pretty fun out here. This is probably just good size, you know, good fun size. Awesome. Thank you, Shaka.